Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in again. Today what I want to get into is the Chromecast. So this is the device from Google that allows you to stream multimedia over to your TV or other device. I want to show you how to get that set up here and then I'm going to do a full review for you just so you have that as well, what my take is on the product. So let's get going. Well let's get right into this here. Now I should clarify that I have the Chromecast, not the Chromecast Ultra, okay? And the real difference there is basically what you're about to see here. What you can do with the Chromecast Ultra is cast at 4K instead of 1080p. So we can see on the box here, here's where it says actually up at the top, 1080p over wireless. Now it's a pretty simple setup. They really mean it when they say that on the back of the box there's not a lot to this device. So let's open it up here and you can see inside there's not a lot here. It's the simple little Chromecast dongle. And you can see that device is no bigger than, you know, a finger or half your hand. And it has the HDMI connector on the back of it there. And that's what actually connects into your TV. From there you have a power adapter which is basically to a USB port on the Chromecast itself. And there it is, you can see it looks like a USB-C connection. From there, this is the whole setup process. Basically plug it into your TV, switch the TV to that input. My TV actually s switches directly on its own and then you set it up. So let's see how it actually goes. So you can see here I'm on HDMI 2 and that's actually where I plugged it into in my TV. And let's go into Android here. And what we're gonna do is within the instruction set, they actually tell you to go to this URL. So it is chromecast.com slash setup. And so what they give you right away, they've recognized that my device is an Android device. So they're saying, go ahead, get our app on Google Play. Now I happen to already have Google Home and in the past, you would have had a different application, but nowadays Google Home controls everything here. So what they're telling me right off the bat is they've actually found my Chromecast. So I'm gonna click on View Devices, and this should show up, but if it doesn't, you just go into Devices and you add a new device. So I'm just gonna hit Set Up there, and we just gotta click through a few screens here. So my device here now is trying to connect directly to the Chromecast and you saw my tablet actually connected through Wi-Fi to the Chromecast itself so my device is no longer on the internet so keep that in mind. Now it asks us if we see a code on your TV I'm just going to show you that the TV actually did show that and you just click yes so that means everybody's communicating. So really quickly, I want to talk about guest mode. Now, what it says here on the screen is this allows devices in the same room to cast without them actually being on your Wi-Fi network. So that's kind of a strange idea, but what it does basically is it will use the device's location and make sure that it's just in the same area as your Chromecast and you can leave that on or turn that off depending on how you feel about that setting but it's definitely interesting when you got a group of friends around you can actually just have you know friend one take control and then friend two take control so it's a pretty interesting little feature. What I've done is I've put in my credentials to my Wi-Fi and now my Chromecast is now using that. So my Chromecast is now connected to my home Wi-Fi network. And now my tablet has actually gone back to my Wi-Fi network as well. So now both devices are on my Wi-Fi network and we do have to apply a little update here. So they always, you know, Google always does this where they always give you a little bit of detail they're just showing you that there is going to be a cast button all over your applications now. So while we're fetching the update, you know, just get used to whenever you're in an application, be it Netflix or YouTube or whatever video service you use, there will be a cast button there from your mobile phone or even your PC or Mac. Those, those have the ability to cast as well. 
So now that our update is there, we're just going to play a little sample clip here. So I've clicked this on my tablet and they're telling me tap the cast and then you choose where it goes. Now you could see actually my Google Home was there as well. You could cast the audio there. So I'm going to cast my Chromecast, but I'm not actually going to show you that because that would violate some copyright rules. So just trust me when I say it did show up on my TV and everything worked great. So now moving back into the Google Home application, I really don't like the name of the Chromecast right now. So I'm going to go into the devices section of the application here and I'm actually going to cl click the little three dots there and go into settings on my Chromecast. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and just click just based on the name right there and then I can name that to whatever I want. And so you know keep in mind we'll be able to use that with our Google Home device. So now I've renamed it to Basement Chrome. That's what I'm going to use with my Google Home. So now going into our review of this device. So in terms of technology, you know what? I'm giving this a 9 out of 10. I can't believe the power that we get with this tiny little device here. So it's just an HDMI device with audio and it's USB powered so you can use the adapter if you want but I was actually able to just take that USB plug it directly into my TV and I was powered off of my TV there for USB power so you know that's amazing and the fact that we're doing this all wirelessly and streaming 1080p is pretty impressive especially on such a small device now in terms of automation, I'm going to give this device an 8 out of 10. So when you couple this with like a Google Home automation device, that score goes way up because that's really great functionality. But, you know, just out of the box, you're able to control a lot just with your phone or your tablet. And so, you know, your TV is really turning into a much more easily controlled device simply with the Chromecast. So it's not a major automation of anything major in your home, but as soon as you use this to control Netflix, you will love it and you won't go back to any other application. Now in terms of life integration, this is extremely easy to use. And one thing I said a little bit earlier is Chromecast will actually switch the input on your TV on most new smart TVs the input will just switch on its own you don't have to do anything and so the only thing really you have to do is decide when you want to use Chromecast so you just kind of turn it on or you use the cast button on your tablet so again it's extremely easy to use from there and this is especially true when we're talking about a device like Google Home or an iPhone or an Android tablet or an Android phone now in terms of worth, so we talked about this already a little bit. It's amazing what you're getting for $35 US or 45 Canadian. It works forever and I have an original, like when the first Chromecast came out, I bought one of these devices and I was blown away then. I'm blown away that it still works. It still is able to do everything this new Chromecast can do. So you know a little tip to you there you can go out and get an old one if you can find one but it, it streams 1080p content they always have and it does it relatively flawlessly so I'm giving the worth a 10 out of 10 because it is so inexpensive to do so much so overall it's a 9 out of 10 I would say that this is so inexpensive that you almost must have it it's great to control your TV content, YouTube, Netflix, all these other services, Crave TV, etc., etc. You can control them all from your phone or tablet and you don't have to do a lot there. So it's easy to set up. You've seen how easy that setup is and you know it's effective and it actually kind of makes it fun to control because you can actually switch shows while the show is playing you can kind of queue up your next show so uh, all in all this is a great device and I would recommend it really for anyone with a phone and a TV so that's pretty much everyone in the world there
All right, well, there you go. I think that's pretty clear. Obviously, for that low, low price, you're getting a lot of functionality. And next time, what I'm gonna do, when I'm working with the Google Chromecast here, I'm gonna show you how to integrate that with your Google Home and make that a much, much more powerful home automation device. So, we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.